Matt Aguilar here from comicbook.com, and today I am with WWE Superstar and United States Champion Austin Theory. How are you? I am great. I am the United States Champion. Feels good to say, right? Does it feel good? It feels so good. And it's the Royal Rumble. Feeling great. Well, I was, I was going to say, so United States Championship, it feels like it's become, you know, a really like this prestigious title again that it used to be. It feels like it used to be that. And over the last like few months, it really feels like it's starting to build as one of those. It's one of those premier titles again. And you're a big part of that. Yes. What's it been like kind of feeling like? Do you, do you feel a little bit of that? Man, my... <laughs> Do you feel a little bit of that? It's going to be wild. Man, to me, you know, if you look at the prestige of the United States Championship and, you know, all the superstars that have held it, it's definitely one of those titles that's always held its own. But I think now, you know, especially me being the one that gets to hold it and run with it and uh, be the guy that, you know, holds it high and shows the prestige of it, to me, that I got the whole world on my shoulders. But I think... That is, you know, the title on Monday Night Raw now. And that United States Championship, it's, uh, it's at high stakes. And everybody wants it, and there's only one man that's got it, and that's Mr. All Day. Well, and then, of course, you're in the Royal Rumble. And, you know, here's an opportunity to, uh, you know, add two titles to the mix. You know, what, is, uh, what it, would it mean to come out of this the victor, and what do you want to... I guess cash that in on. What are you? What are you looking? Which title are you looking at? Well, I will say cash in is a is a it's a tough word around me. You know. I understand. You know what I mean. I but uh, nah, man. I mean, if we really look at it, United States champion right now. I win the Royal Rumble. I beat the crap out of Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, and I become three belt theory. I'm the United States champion and the undisputed WWE Universal champion. That sounds good to me. Absolutely. It's a dream. It's a dream. Well, you know, you've, there's, of course, a lot of, there's, there's 30 people in all. There's 29 other people in this match that are going to be gunning for you and gunning for other people who they don't want to win this match. Is there someone that, you know, I know everyone's, you know, there's a lot of friends behind the scenes, but uh, is there someone that, like, you personally are like, I want you out of that match. I don't want you to have that shot. Even if I don't win, I don't want you to win. Bobby Lashley. <laughs> the dude's just jealous of me, man. I mean, look at everything. You know, you go back to, a, you know, I hosted my own posing routine, you know, and Bobby failed at it. It's jealous. Look at me when I cashed in my Money in the Bank contract. Bobby, he, he cost me all of that. Jealous. And then this past Monday, he still couldn't beat me. I've, I beat him in a triple threat with Seth freaking Rollins, and I just beat him on my own this past Monday. What? Wait, what's this guy's deal? That, he doesn't need to be in the Royal Rumble, and he's already shown he has anger problems, and that's why he got suspended. It's, it's ridiculous to me, you know? He should not be in the Royal Rumble. That's my one, yeah. Yeah, Bobby Lashley, get him out of there. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting hot about it, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't, mean to, yeah, I didn't mean to make things difficult. Um, you know, one of the things, too, is that, you know, last year was a, was a great year for you. There was a lot of uh, awesome moments. One of, one of the best, though, I think is not many people, especially in the last... 10 years get to share any kind of ring with Stone Cold Steve Austin that's uh that just doesn't happen and you got to be in there and also might I add take one hell of a stunner <laughs> take one hell of a stunner what was that moment like and being able to be in like with one of the greats man I specifically remember standing there and you know looking around the the whole stadium for Wrestlemania in Dallas and literally just seeing Stone Cold Steve Austin and Mr. McMahon in the ring at the same time in the center of the ring and me just standing off to the corner like <laughs> this is insane you know like it's just crazy uh, and it's you know anybody that's a true diehard fan of the WWE knows the history of Mr. McMahon and Stone Cold and how epic that moment is and to me man it's should have been on a t-shirt you know it's it's uh it was amazing how was that not on a t-shirt maybe there's a shirt somewhere <laughs> maybe somebody's gonna make a shirt now when they see this ah, see? somebody out there you're responsible for making a t-shirt all right make it happen please make, make it, it happen, happen. I sh it should be me getting stunned it'll it'll be beautiful it'll be like the nike logo you know like, oh my god yes please do that yeah it's your job and if it doesn't happen we we try we put it out in the yeah, universe we already tried I think that was the longest one yet. Yeah, that's one. 
<laughs> Take credit for his work. Um, you know, I, I understand you are a big uh, fan of Marvel and, and DC and the superhero world. We're obviously at comicbook.com, so we kind of wear it on our sleeve. Um, you know, right now, it's a, it's a big year for the MCU. Are you, is there something you're more excited about than anything else right now? Deadpool 3, baby. That's going to be a good one, man. I'm excited. That's uh, Deadpool is one of my favorites, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, man, possibly, uh, you know, that, that Hugh Jackman return and everything. Yeah, is he going to wear a suit? I mean, I think he can do anything, you know. I think he'll, yeah, for sure. If he wears a suit, are you partial to tan or are you blue and are you yellow? Which, which suit is the favorite? You know what? Uh... Maybe the suit, man. You know, I'd love to see him and Deadpool matching. Oh, man, yeah. That'd be great, right? Maybe he gets a Deadpool suit. That'd be epic. Okay, let's also, man, there's a lot of golden ideas happening right maybe, here. Maybe he has to wear the suit. Like, there's just a reason. He's like, you got to wear it, man, or we're not going to make it. And he's like, and he puts it on, and they play that DMX, and it's great. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. That's, I hope that happens. That's it. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things, too, is that, you know, and Bianca is, uh, Belair is starring in a new reality show. You know, we've always got The Rock and, and John Cena kind of happening around Hollywood. Any uh, plans to kind of jump into that for you? Any, any movie, TV show, hopes, franchises you want to be a part of? Definitely, uh, you know, I, I would love to play a superhero or a villain, you know. I, maybe I'll be good as a villain, you know, maybe. Uh, but I think there's a lot of different avenues I want to try out, especially in, you know, that industry, uh, all kinds of stuff. You know, I couldn't really put a finger on if it's a TV show or a movie or I, I definitely know I want to be a part of a lot of that stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, if there was one thing, obviously winning the Rumble sets you up for a shot at the undisputed championship. So I know that's a big one. Uh, you're already United States champion, so you're already starting the year off great. What is the thing that you feel like if it's at, I guess, the ultimate bucket list for 2023? If there's something you look back on the rest of the year and you go, I, I achieved that thing, what is that for you? Man, uh, I think that thing is a big WrestleMania moment. I think it's uh, having that big WrestleMania moment. And I think uh, that's on me to make that happen. And I think... At WrestleMania, we'll know if I made that happen or not. So I think that's what it is for me. And that's saying something because, I mean, you already have a really good moment. I mean, I was going to say, like, that's, that Stone Cold moment's not. How can I top that, right? How can I top it? It's a, it's a good challenge to have, right? It is. I, and I think uh, I thrive in that, you know, because I, uh, you know, look back at what happened recently with the money in the bank contract. You know, the, the briefcase, I pretty much just kind of went downhill with that and everybody said the world was over for me and then now here we are on cloud nine so it's pretty easy to you know fall into a perspective for people but i think uh for me what i always envision is bigger and better so that's that's what my eyes are set on i'd say wrestlemania though awesome well thank you so much and uh you know all the best success and uh, you can catch all the coverage of the world rumble right here on comicbook.com